Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a watch I'm really excited to go over with you guys. This is the Dan Henry 1962 Racing Chronograph. So I'm really excited to be going over this one. I just got it in today, but I didn't want to wait to show it. Here it is. This is the Dan Henry 1962 Racing Chronograph. Uh, it comes in this cool little uh, tube looking container. You twist it apart to pop it out, and then inside it comes in a, not really leather, but it's a leather-colored cloth uh, little watch roll, which is pretty cool. I dig this. I think it's a nice touch. Um, opening it up here, and here you go. You have the watch itself, which we'll get into shortly. Uh, the cool thing is it comes with a separate strap. They're all... Uh, quick release straps 20 millimeters um, so it comes with a black one which is cool and they're all quick release like I said so you can buy more on the website and get those and then here you just have your instruction booklet and your warranty card uh, but that's it for the packaging I think it's really cool it's simplistic it's not overdone like some people do um, it's just a nice simple watch roll the watch itself and this little tube and I think that tubes kind of cool because it's uh, probably easier to store than some of these big bulky boxes that a lot of companies ship their watches with so here you have the watch itself um, it's this beautiful black and gold color I got it on the brown strap but I knew it came with both so I didn't really care too much um, it's this beautiful uh, kind of speed master mixed with a Daytona Paul Newman type face uh, it's beautiful. It's got the tachometer on the outside. Uh, this colorway is a limited edition. As you can see on the back, I'll do that first. We have the race car, which I believe is the brand logo for Dan Henry or the chronograph logo. Uh, it's a limited edition, 375 of 1962. That's why this is model 1962. Um, with this face to me, it's just kind of, it's beautiful. It is, the Dan Henry logo looks much smaller in person on the watch face, so it doesn't really stand out much, which I like. Uh, everything else is nice and kind of understated, but still very classy and elegant looking at the same time. Um, pusher on the side has DH on the logo, which is nice. It is uh, 13 and a half millimeters wide and the face is 39 millimeters, so it wears slightly smaller than a Speedmaster. Uh, but this to me is, uh, I'm kind of blown away by how beautiful it looks in person. So on the face here, the bottom uh, sub-dial is the uh, second hand that's always running. Uh, on the left, we have the minute sub-dial for the chronograph. And on the right, we have the hour dial for the chronograph. Here's the chronograph running. It's nice. It kind of floats beautifully like that. Sorry about the lights, guys. I'm trying a new lighting situation and it's kind of it looks good in certain angles but uh the lights just kind of in the way today um but yeah there's the chronograph running i think it's beautiful uh i'm not gonna let it run for a full hour so you can see it but trust me and then it pops back beautifully um i like the band a lot it's comfortable my only concern with it is it's very thin i can't tell if you can tell how thin this is but this band is very thin and it's comfortable and I like that, but I am worried that it will start to wear much earlier than a lot of other leather bands I have due to how thin it is. Um, but it is very comfortable and they are quick release and easy to replace. So I guess if there is a problem, I could just replace it. But it does, that's the only part of this watch to me that feels a little bit cheaper than I was expecting. It, uh, I don't even think it says genuine leather anywhere on it. Yeah, so I don't think it's actually a leather strap, um, but it is very comfortable due to how thin it is. It just kind of scares me because I've had a lot of experience with these wearing poorly and breaking down at the crease point. Uh, so I'll give you an update in a few months maybe if that becomes a problem, but other than that, I, I, I'm really impressed with it. Here it is on the wrist. Uh, I think it wears beautifully. It doesn't wear too thick at all. I love that. Uh, on my seven and a little over a quarter inch wrist. I also don't think it's too big or too small. I think this is the perfect size. Um, I don't know if I love the brown with the black and gold. I think I may put the black on this, but got a little DH down there on the buckle. But yeah, I, I really like the way this looks on the wrist. I like the way it sits on the wrist. 
Uh, this, to me, is for the price point, and I think this was about $250. I think this is an incredible watch, and it wears beautifully. So all in all, I'm really impressed by Dan Henry as a brand. I'm really impressed with this watch. I love it. Uh, I think this is going to get a lot of wrist time. I know I did mention that I wanted to get a Speedmaster, so it'll potentially lose a little to the Speedmaster, but definitely still worth it in the time being because I wanted to check this brand out. Their packaging is great. The attention, the detail is great. Uh, strong recommend to Dan Henry and his brand and his watch collection and look forward to seeing you guys next time and definitely check out Dan Henry watches.